Hi, I am Santosh Kumar, captain of team Trogi Killers. I am here from the college Velamal Institute of Technology. We feel proud to participate in the event, students cutting out the same challenge of the SME. Therefore, I will start with the technical specification of a car. The wheel base of a car is 44 inches and the front drive width is 36 inches. The rear drive width of a car is 45 inches and the overall length of a car is 76 inches. And we designed the frame of a car in the software, Coyote Parametric 3.0. And the ground clearance of the car is 2 inches, which is less than the ground clearance given in the SKDC rulebook. The frame material we have chosen in a car cart is it's the AISI 4130 and the total mass of a cart without considering the weight of the driver is 95 to 100 kgs. The engine we have chosen for a cart is Honda Standard 125cc engine and the combustion ratio of a cart is 9.2 is to 1. The maximum power output of a cart is 11 HP. The transmission type we have been implanted in this is manual transmission of gearbox method. The steering system we are going to use is Pitman Arm Ackerman system, which is better than the episode of Ackerman system. Here we are going to see about the design methodology and analysis. The initial velocity of the car is 40 km per hour, and the load the average force we are going to use is 13,000 Newton, which is based on the impulse momentum equation and work energy theorem. We have been using many triangulations in the frame in order to reduce the stress distributed between them. First we see the front impact test. The total weight going to the total load going to act on the front frame is 13,000 Newton and the deformation level is about 2.35 mm. Now we will see about the real impact test. Here the load, same load is going to be act and the deformation is 2.52 mm. Now we will see about the side impact test for both leg and the left side. Still, the deformation is same for both the side, 1.25 mm. Finally, we will see about the driver and the self test of considering the same node. And the deformation here is 1.46 mm. Here I conclude with my topic. Thank you. A warm welcome to Anna. I'm going to explain about the topic, economics, the economics the basics of the driving experience and the fact of safety for our global driver. We choose the cockpit, the best for our driver, and an existing, uh, the existing model in the inclination of 70 to 20 degrees. The cockpit of the cockpit, we choose is the exit, uh, exit of the driver at 3 to 5 seconds in a better situation or in emergency or including the disassembly systems. The angle of flywall we kept is at 90 degrees, a better distance can be kept away from the driver to the engine. The last but not least, the economics basic concept is the comfort of it for the driver. The economics is also designed on the basis of uh, economics is also the basis of during the disassembly session and the emergency systems or situations that are going to, if it happens. It is again close the economics title and go move on to the real assembly. Real assembly. We choose the dimension as in the main base 41 inches, the front track width 36 inches, and the rear track width as 45 inches, and the ground clearance is 2 inches. The dimension for the front wheel we choose is 10 inches to 4.5 inches to 5 inches, and the rear wheel as 11 inches to 7.5 inches to 5 inches. The go kart uh, wheel we choose is OEM type, and the non threaded slick type is for better traction and suitable for dry tracks as in condition for high level uh, SKDC rounds. The kingpin inclination we choose this sound rate, sound to 8 degrees in the OEM type for the best direction stabilities. And for the corner stabilities, we call the cumber, well, the cumber degree is 1 to 1.5 degree. The combined angle is 1, 9 to 10 degrees. So the better maintainable for the scrub radius is less than 12 mm. The small amount of negative caster is implemented so that the transmission is in mechanical form as better stability and better traction and also for the comfortability of the driver is can be achieved. In this I can do the wheel assembly and move on to the braking systems. The braking type we choose is the hydraulic type of single disc brakes. The caliber is Pulsar or the CB Unicorn since both have the same specification and dimensions. The master cylinder we use is Bajaj Auto. Assuming all the wheels are locked when the brakes are applied and the tires on the slide or the road which is an essential condition. 
the mass of her gourd, as we assume, in theoretical, without the driver, is 95 kg. The braking force we achieved in uh, calculation is 1,618 Newton. From the equation, we calculated that the deceleration happening during the braking happens is minus 6.87 meter per second square since it is in deceleration. The initial velocity is achieved by, from our broker is 40 kilometers as we presume. The time taken to stop the broker from the equation we achieved is 1.6180 seconds according to our calculations. The average of deceleration can be achieved from our broker is 2.436 meter per second square. The stopping distance is approximate uh, from a car calculation is 2.58 meter. The reward is in theoretical. Thank you. And I'll conclude this session. slide. Hi, this is Vignesh, Vignesh V, Vice Captain of the team, Prodel Killers. I am here to present the topic, engine, power transmission and steering system. As per given in the rule book, we can use maximum of 125cc. After lots of discussion, we have decided Honda standard 125cc engine, which has a maximum torque of 11 Newton meter at 6500 rpm and the maximum power of 11 bhp at 8000 rpm. Top speed of the standard is 95 km per hour, but as far as the go-kart is concerned, we are expecting to achieve 60 to 70 km per hour. Next, Power transmission. The transmission type we are using is manual gearbox and the type of drive is chain drive. Here the T1 is the number of driving T, driving gear and the T2 the T thorn driven gear. Here we are adding two cases, we are approaching for the second cases because for the better performance. Now I am going to say about the steering system. The steering system we are using is Pitman or Ackerman system, which is otherwise called as positive Ackerman system. Reason for choosing this Ackerman steering mechanism, which is quick response than the other steering system. Ackerman steering system, assembly and disassembly of Ackerman steering system is easy and it leads very minimal steering effort. By this, we are having the calculation as a slide, outer turning angle of 22 degree and the inner turn, turning angle of 34 degree. Here, we are proving the Ackerman equation 100% satisfied. By the ends, our turning radius is 2.28 meter, which is less than 3 meter. Hence, I conclude my speech. Hi, this is Akhil, the co-driver of the team, Team Cartels. And uh, I'm going to talk about the design validation plan. First of all, I'll start off with the frame. The frame was completely designed under the supervision of a captain, uh, Santosh and our team member Anish. And we have uh, done many tests on the frame, like the front, uh, like the front impact test, rear test and the side impact test. So all these tests were conducted on ANSYS software. And we have achieved the FOS required according to the rule book. Uh, transmission brakes and steering, uh, all these works are still under progress. Now let's have a look at the GAN chart. Uh, purchasing of our engine took us some time and the fabrication of our transmission system also uh, took us a lot of time and all this uh, transmission uh, fabrication work was done in the material HDP and uh, installation of our uh, braking system also took us some time and we have used our uh, uh, Uricon disc for our braking system and uh, fixing our battery was also not proper and we have fixed the battery also now. Let's have a look at our uh, cost report. Cost report, our braking system costed us around 4,000 rupees and our engine and transmission costed us around 23,000. Frame and body works took 11,000 approximately and installation and wiring, it took us around 6,200. Steering system took us around 3,000. Uh, wheels and tires took us around 3,500 and the uh, innovation project was around 2,000 rupees. And on a total, our, on a total, our uh, total cost is uh, 63,600. Now I'll hand over the mic to our captain. Hi. Now we are going to see about the uh, FME report of a card. It is done under the supervision of captain myself and my vice captain. We have uh, segregated into four different parts. Steering system, braking system, the frame and the power drain. And we have been made it according to the risk priority number and we have changed what are the errors going to take place in these four sections and we have made the corrections according to it and we have submitted everything in the Excel sheet as proper. Thank you.